Hello, 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 beautiful beings of love and light. Natasha Monique here, and this is your March 2022 Tarot and Oracle reading. We are using African American Tarot and Divine Animals Oracle for this balance reading. So throughout the month of March, we have a lot of mystical things happening in the cosmos. So if you are not already a member of, I invite you to join my Facebook group. The Witch in You, Awakening Sacred Alchemy, where you can get more insights about what's going on in the cosmos. So this tarot reading is a general reading for all signs, for all beings, throughout the month of March. These are the messages for the month of March. It's got a nine vibration. We start out the month in the sign of Pisces. We end it in Aries. We have a lot of celestial transitions going on, so tune into the extended version of the What's Up in the Cosmos on my group page on Facebook to get all that info. So let's pull these cards and see what energy we have, what the tarot messages are for us, for our mind, body, soul, and spirit for the month of March in the year of 2022. All right, so I'm going to pull the Oracle card now and see what messages we have. Okay. So our message from the universe is card 14, seahorse equality. I absolutely love that. The seahorse lets us know that despite our preconceived roles that we have set in society, we are all equal, we are all one. We are all capable of doing various different tasks and it's okay to be in a task that's not in accordance with what society says is your gender role, quote unquote, because everyone can do everything as long as we set our mind to it. Seahorse reminds us to that we are one with each other. We all coexist together. So remember that throughout this month, that is a beautiful message for us throughout the month of March is the seahorse to break free from the roles that society has put on you because of your gender. You don't need them. So for our mental state, we have the king of coins, the king of pentacles, so this is our mind is on our money and our money is on our minds throughout this month. So think about ways in which you can be lucrative throughout all of the things that you can do in life. How can you be lucrative? We next have the four of wands reversed. That's in our body, our actions. So that's reminding us to make sure that we are not too much like spendthrifty. That we're not acting like, oh, I'm balling because I'm so successful because my mind's on my money. So I'm making all these great money making moves in my mind and I know what money's coming in. So now I'm spending it before I even have it. So make sure we're not spending before we even have it. Make sure that we're conserving and using our finances wisely so that we can build up that foundation that we need to have. That's going to help us with this four of wands. That's the card of that foundation that family home, that stability. So we want to make sure we can have that stability. Right after that, we're followed with the four of pentacles reversed, the four of coins reversed. That is, again, another heed to be frugal, to be mindful of your resources, to not waste, to not be wasteful, to not also be stingy. The four of coins, this four of pentacles reminds us to not be stingy but also to be frugal, to be mindful with our assets and our resources. We are, we're building a stability right now in this month of March. That's that equality and adaptability that the seahorse is letting us know that we're building through, building up to this stability. We've got coins and swords because again, we end with, this is the page of swords. We have reverse in our spiritual self. So whereas our emotional self is in the Four of Swords, that's reminding us to just not give away money frivolously for like bleeding heart causes that we know are not worth it. We need to save those resources. The Page of Swords is reminding us again 
d don't be young minded with our resources, with our passions. Don't sell our passions short. Make sure we understand and know that our passions are valuable. Our passions are lucrative and we can use them if we're mindful. Remember, we've got the, the king of pentacles in our mindset. So our spiritual set is letting us know if we are mindful, we can be lucrative with our passions, with our talents, with the things in which we can do that no one else can do. So this month is all about getting that energy out and breathing that energy into the world. It is a nine vibration. So it's a completion to start anew. So we're starting new projects, new projects in money, new projects with our passion. We're also being conservative of the things that we have. So we're getting ready to go to the next phase. We're having wish fulfillment is happening, is going on throughout the month of March. And we're letting go and releasing any negativity and any doubt from the past. We have the sun starting off starting off in Pisces and then ending up in Aries. So we have that cosmic ocean ending with the blazing inferno. So it's diving into ourselves and then going into the core being of who we are. Our moon, we've got the new moon in Pisces and the full moon in Libra. So that's all about our emotional self and our ability to be in balance. So what we need to be in balance is to just focus on the fact that we are all one and that our talents, our gifts, our passions are going to be lucrative. We have wands and we have pentacles in this reading for the month of March. Those are the only suits that we have. No major arcana. That's it. It's just wands and pentacles. So that's taking those passions and bringing them into a materialistic plane and making those passions lucrative. That's the theme for the month of March. It's completing one cycle to start a new cycle. So you're starting on a whole new cycle in a way in which to make money, to materialize things that you want to come to fruition in life. There's just a new way of which you're doing that. So get that done. Be excited to do that. Be excited to end this one phase in your life and to start a completely new phase that's going to bring you to the next level. We have to let go of, release, and get rid of any doubts that are going to prevent us from being able to ascend to this next level. And then just go ahead and ascend. ascend. Go ahead and do it. Embrace it. Enjoy it. Love it. Live it. Enjoy the month of March in 2022. Love and light. Mwah.